Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we're doing the next video in our series, Learning Cricut Design Space. So today we're going to be talking about the Weld Tool. So the Weld Tool is going to do a couple of things for you. It's going to allow you to take two shapes and weld them together and make them one cut. It's going to allow you to take multiple shapes and create your own new shape and it's going to allow you to weld or put together those cursive or script letterings that you want to do um, so that when they cut out, it's cutting out as one full piece and not individual letters. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what it's all about. Okay, so now here we're in Cricut Design Space. So that's at design.cricut.com and I've just opened up a new canvas, so a blank canvas. And if you look at um, everything here, so you've got new, templates, projects, images, text, shapes, upload. Um, and then across the top, we have layers for grouping, ungrouping, duplicates, delete, and we have color sync. And then down across the bottom, these are the five that we're doing right now, which is the slice tool, the weld tool, the attach tool, the flatten tool, and the contour tool. So today we're talking about the weld tool. So I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to use your shapes function here um, to create something totally new. Okay, so we're going to use the circle and we're going to use the square. So if we take the circle, and I've actually already done it here, so we just make a circle. And then in shapes, you could take the square. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. So I've already done it, but I want to show you this. So we have a square. If you unlock it, then you can make this square much smaller. So see, I'm going to make it much, much smaller. And then if I wanted to, you know, move it around, I could do that as well. Okay, so for these purposes, I've already made my little line. And I'm making a snowman face with a hat. So I have my little line here. And then I'm going to put a square on top of that. And then if I select all three of these, so I can either use the shift key and select them or I can you know, just drag and pull and catch all of them. Um, and then I go to my wonderful weld tool. I have made one shape, okay? So now I have the head and the hat. Say I didn't want to have the all of the pieces attaching. I just really wanted to have my circle as the snowman face and it not so much of a silhouette, but I need to move this guy over just a smidge. But then I wanted to make a hat because I couldn't find one in design space that I liked a lot. So I would grab both of those, weld, and now I have a hat and I have the head. How cute is that, right? And I just made a brand new shape using the weld tool. Okay, so now let's put aside our hat and our snowman face. And I want to talk to you about script. Okay, so I love working with script lettering. Um, and you can just have these beautiful fonts. We'll look at Monday Bold. This is one that I like. Let's see if I can pull it up for you really quickly. Okay, so you see how the scripting, see how lovely it is and it's all together. And then you type it in and you're like, that's not what it looks like up here. That's because each of these individual letters are currently separate. So you can move them around like you want. Well, let's say you just want it to be exactly this, the word teach. So you can click on it and you can go up to font size and change that. Um, you can go to letter spacing and we're going to reduce our letter spacing. Okay, so we've reduced it to the point where they're all touching. And you're like, wow, okay, so they're all connected now. No, not necessarily. Let's turn our um, design to a pretty blue. So if you look at this really closely, do you see that between the T and the E, there is a, it's not um, flowing. So you've got that line there. Well, what that's going to mean is when it cuts, it's actually going to detach the E from the T. So they're not, they're not together, they're not welded yet. So, but if you click on this that you created and you go over to weld, let me make it a little bit larger just so you can see. Do you see these lines here? Okay, so if we go over, we click, we go over to weld. Now look at that. Now you can see that there's no line in between each one of these letters. So that means when it goes to mat, it's going to cut as one piece. So that's what your weld tool did for you. Now you can also take 
So say we wanted to um, make the A in teach an apple. Um, we could do that. We would just need to separate our letters. Okay, so if we click on teach, and if we double click on it, it takes us back to the actual lettering of teach. Okay, so we would have our TE, and then we would go back into text, and we would do our CH. Okay, so of course CH shows up um, not the same size. So let's check this guy. He's 150 um, points and negative 0.2. So then we would take our CH and we would make this 150 points. And we would make the lettering negative 0.2. Okay, so um, and we can just for sake, we can make it the same color. Okay, so now we have um, both elements, TE and CH, and we're missing the A. So if we went into images, and I've already done this, I design um, cartridges for Cricut, and I have an apple in one of my back to school cartridges. So I just grab that really quick. Okay, so I want to, I'm going to put it on the line here just so I can make sure that the same. Okay, and then I'm going to. Um, hide all the elements that I don't need. So we'll just hide everything except, whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that one. Oh well, we'll just go this way. Okay, easier. Okay, and so now we're going to take that apple and we want to make it part of this design. So we could make it really large like that, right? Or we could make it smaller. Where they're just barely overlapping maybe a little smaller. Really, you could do you know pretty much anything you wanted to. And then we'll take the CH and we'll move it over as well. Just barely overlapping, I think, would be better. Okay, how does that look, right? So then we take and attach, or excuse me, weld. Okay, so we hit weld. And look at that, TE, Apple, CH but we made the word teach, right? Isn't that cute? And you could do, and this is a completely new cut from just having the word teach and having an apple. This is something you created completely on your own using the weld tool. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. I hope you'll hop down below and check out some of the other videos in this series. We're talking about the contour tool. We're talking about the attach tool. Um, I even did a video on print and then cut. Um, I've got some things in there um, for pattern fill. So make sure you hop down and check out the other videos in this series. And if you have any questions or if there's things that you want me to create a video on, make sure you leave that down in the comments too. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.